Good morning, greetings to you. I'm Pastor Ken Harvest Church out in Lexington. Hope you're doing well this morning. A lot of great things going on around Harvest Church. Hope you will find a church, participate. Uh, we had a great Easter and now we're moving on into April and May and uh, our connect groups are getting started and uh, just a lot of great stuff going on. A men's breakfast this Saturday morning. Check out our website. A lot of great things happening. Uh, first of scripture I want to read to us today to help us as we're talking about humility a little bit. Paul writes, he says, when I acknowledge my weakness, then I can become strong. I always wondered what Paul meant by that when he wrote that in, in first, second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10, when he wrote that, I mean, Lord, I don't understand that. He says, when I'm weak, then I'm strong. How does that work? Well, when I say, Lord, I'm weak and I need your help, then God comes to my rescue. He becomes my helper and he's much stronger and able than I am. And then I can lean into his strength. See, I can lean into God and God's in me and his power's working through me. But when I try to handle it all by myself, Paul says, you know, I'm weak and I can't handle everything. I have to handle it all by myself. How many feel that way today? Too much stress, overwhelmed. Don't know if I'll get it all done. But when I say I'm weak and when I say, Lord, I need your help and I lean toward God, I lean into God, then he becomes my helper, my strength, my peace, and he makes my way forward a lot easier by his grace. I want to pray for you today for his grace to come into your life. I'll be right back. Let's pray together this morning. Will you say a prayer with me? Come on, say, Lord, I need your grace. Well, that confession acknowledgement is so good. Lord, I need your help today. Come into my life. Be my strength in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, I pray for a portion of your grace and your Holy Spirit to come into every heart, every home. In the name of Jesus this morning, amen and amen. 